<clears throat> I'm Amy. I'm living in Chrysalis and I'm live once again. I forgot to announce it, so I don't know how many people are going to come on. It'll be interesting to see. But uh, in the meantime, oh boy, I had to let go of my thought that I was going back to work next week. Excuse me. The infection I have in my foot, the, the doctor <laughs> took a look at it. I said, I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not sure I'm ready to go back to work. He's like, nope. I'm like, okay. So looks like I'll be staying home next week. The good news is uh, hopefully that'll give me a chance to do some cleaning because while I was laid up for over a month, yeah, six weeks actually, six weeks, the house is an absolute trash pile. I mean, my, my husband's done what he can, but he's mostly concentrated on the kitchen. The bathroom is just, oh, I got to do that. I wound up, uh, I wound up taking a nap when I got home from shopping because it hurt so much. So, yeah, that was enjoyable. Oh, right. In case I haven't mentioned it. I've, uh, I'm certainly working on keeping things going here. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with my channel, I am mostly a makeup channel, but since my, since what, well, actually it's living in Chrysalis, but, um, but living in Chrysalis is a state of being as in I'm taking some time to develop or redevelop th things about myself and I need to work on. Oh, but anyway, to the point. I had two points in this video, actually, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay. Well, the first point. Eh, yeah, I'll do this first. Okay. I am... I'm not a hoarder per se, but I do have hoarding tendencies. My late mother was a hoarder and my middle sister went to the other extreme where she would just, she just got rid of so many things. I actually just watched her video a little earlier about her $700 teapot or her, her channel's Frida K if uh, F R E E D E A and then K-A-Y-E, if you're interested in checking that out. But she went through my, uh, my, my parents' old house before it was um, torn down. Although before it was torn down, it was, it was used for practice by the fire department, which I think is awesome. But before the house was torn down, she went through and got overwhelmed and she, she salvaged a few things. Although, um, you know, the, the things that she salvaged for me turned out, I don't even think they were worth salvaging. And that's really hard for me to say because I'm, I'm generally a pretty sentimental type. <sighs> In a way, I'm wondering if my inability to go out there and get some things for myself kind of saved me <laughs> because I, I already have too much stuff for the type of spaces I normally live in. So I, I tend to live in smaller places when possible because there's less to clean and less rent to pay and that sort of thing, but I, but I do still have too much stuff. And like I was saying in my live yesterday, I do really need to go through and minimize my things to make my next move smooth and make sense. But one thing I have a really hard time with and the reason why I want to mention this here <laughs> so that I'll actually do it is I'm actually replacing 
a purse. Not just buying another purse, but I am replacing one. I initially bought this at uh, you know, one of those discount boutiques for, um, I think it's 25 bucks. It's Nine West, it is plastic, but cute. I originally intended this as a, sort of a party purse. I, I, uh, I would leave it in my car and then if my friend and I would I take stuff out of my big purse, throw a few things in here and be good to go. But with all these injuries and surgeries I've been having over the last couple of years, it wound up being easier for me to function if I, if I carried this as an everyday purse because it's got the long strap, I can just put it across body and have both my hands free. But this has seen better days. Hey, weird collar guy. So... As you can see, the chain broke, and I actually can't figure out how to fix it, which is odd because I'm uh, because usually I'm pretty handy at fixing things, but I haven't been able to figure out how to fix it. But most importantly, what bugs me is, can you see that? The plastic's chipped away. I've I've colored it in with marker to make it a little less obvious, but it's still shabby. Hey, Frida, how you doing? I just mentioned your uh, $700 teapot video, and that's the teapot I had in mind, too. But it's better for you to keep it. Yeah, these coatings suck. So I, I was just saying how a lot of times I would keep this in case I needed it for something, but I am making a commitment to throw it away. As soon as I'm done with this video. The only reason why I've kept it the last couple days is for this video. So here is my purse that I'm throwing away. And here's what I replaced it with. This is leather. It is also a long strap crossbody bag. It has a really neat little handle here so I can still carry it here. The one thing I'm not crazy about is that it is it doesn't fully seal about the Frida has a binding coating coming off a cell phone cover right now. Leather for the win. Yep, crossbody for life. Well, and you know me, I, but for those who don't, I've normally been the um, rather large over-the-shoulder bag type because I tended to carry a lot of things. But I've noticed now that I'm carrying less, and especially with all the injuries and surgeries. I've been wanting something smaller. Now this bag is by itself heavier because it is leather. Mink oil and put some on it every six months. Okay, thanks, I hadn't heard of mink oil. But I will, I will definitely do that. So this is a Vince Camuto. I, I don't know, the, the, I got a TJ Maxx on clearance for 40 bucks. Or yeah. I don't know if it was on clearance, but TJ Maxx, 40 bucks. Um, so neat little ring. And another thing I'm not super crazy about is it's, got, is it's got the drawstring and it's a little, it's a little long on the inside, but uh, it may make that work for me. I do wish it had more compartments in it. It's got this zipper compartment and then this other one. Um, Weird Collar Guy says it helps keep it supper, supple, waterproof, and shiny. Frida is trying to buy only natural fibers this year. Excellent. I'm, uh, I'll check out the shoe. I'll check out the shoe repair shop and see if they have anything like that. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned on the channel, but my driver's license and one of my debit cards has been missing for two months. Hey, Scorpion, how you doing? So I. In this plastic purse that I'm getting rid of, I had just been kind of keeping them loose, but now I can't find, um, I can't find either one of those. They've been missing for two months. Nothing's happened on them. I, I suspect they're somewhere in the house. At least I hope so. <laughs> but in order to keep those from floating loose, I did buy myself a small one. Yes, you did, Scorpion. 
I did buy myself a small wallet. I'm carrying around my expired passport card. And then just, you know, a very small little, little wallet. Let's see. Yes, Scorpion, you are a man of your word, sir. Frida's buying mostly used, good quality wool on Poshmark. Well, I have a complication Frida doesn't, is that I am allergic to all animal fibers, with the exception of silk. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, uh, that's a bit tough for me. But I, when I was shopping for this purse, I actually put a whole bunch of purses into a shopping cart because I um, was on crutches and then went to sit down and go through them, sort through them. And my bestie, my bestie actually pointed out to me that this bag I can actually fit a soda into <laughs> and still be hands-free. So... <laughs> Soda for the win! And also a nice, easily accessible outside pocket for my phone. <laughs> well, my medication dries out my mouth, so I'm always thirsty, so I always carry a beverage, usually soda, because really the only bottled water I like is, um, <laughs> is the uh, Fiji and so it is cheaper. <laughs> Cross-body two-liter sling. Don't tempt me. And yes, I have my two-liter that I'm drinking out of because I'm a Hanyak. I'm sure our grandmother would be horrified. But but the reason why I wanted to show these on, on the channel is not only just because this is actually really cute. I think it's really nice, but also because <laughs> because I want to. Uh, <laughs> Frida says, "How far the apple's fallen after a few generations." I know, right? Oh dear. I know. Well, it's it's kind of strange because sometimes. It's hard, it's hard to remember that I'm presenting to the public at large because I'm sitting in my dining room. <sighs> the wonders of the internet. But hey, this, this is relatability, right? Hashtag relatable white girl. Okay. So let's see. Where's, where's the water at? Right. Yeah, no, it's Diet Dr. Thunder. Because, you know, only the best in this house. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure this is entirely my mother's fault. When I, was a ki when I was a kid, even when I was little, she would always, always drink soda. We called it pop because we're from Michigan. And I remember once when I was little, because, you know, because she, would, she would always have her pop and we weren't allowed to have it really. She, she'd let us have a sip, but that was about it. One time I found a bottle of brown liquid in the fridge and started drinking it and it was soy sauce. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, Pretty sure this is on mom, but I know I am an adult and it's just my responsibility, but part, part of taking responsibility for things is understanding the origin of them, right? My hands are dry. I'm just going to throw on this wonderful, beautiful pear scented lotion that costs way too much for what I got, but it comes in this adorable little pear and that's why I bought it really. <laughs> okay, so, oh, I see Foran now. I should always keep the water on me, best thing in the world. I know, but uh, the tap water here is truly, tastes truly awful. And, um, <laughs> Frida says, and throw the bottles across the room in menopause madness. Yep. 
What did I eat today? Uh, a kind bar. I only had one though. Um, two scrambled eggs with cheese and a gluten-free pizza from Domino's because I, I, uh, my husband was too tired to cook and I don't cook. It just doesn't happen. But it's okay. I'm, I'm all right. So there are a couple more people here. Who's all here? I see Scorpion. I see Frida. Weird collar guy. Is he still here? Who else is here? Oh, you use a filter picture. I tried those. I, I, I tried that. It, it, it just it doesn't work really f for me. Um, it's pretty much the, um, the Fiji water or about nothing as far as just bottle, you know, water as far as taste goes. Fritz says the kind bars are gluten free, but they give her a severe abdominal pain. Oh no, I'm fine with them. Weird. Okay, cool. Weird color guy still here. Excellent. So, oh, you've got catfish. Oh, that sounds good. I haven't had catfish in ages. Let me put my purse aside before I forget about it. Ow. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to be on, you guys. Oh, my, uh, actually, you know, I think I'm going to have to postpone, um, finale for another day because my foot is absolutely killing me oh this sucks i really wanted to stay on and hang out um but i was going to say that hi shawana thank you yeah scorpion is handsome right he's very charming too um so i have these um these little Z pellets, but I had an incident with one. And what I learned is if, if you're repressing something and it's still wet with rubbing alcohol, don't close the lid. <laughs> because if you do, it absolutely ruins the plastic see-through window. So I tried taping it over, but I'm still not happy with how it looks. So I'm gonna try to find a way to, um, to, to make it look nicer because it's still gonna be um, because I, I want it to still be useful, but if it doesn't look pretty, I won't use it. I just, I know myself and I won't. Oh, good. People are greeting each other. Hi, Shawana's Creative Circle. Then I've got Stephanie Harrington, Romance and Gothic Writings. Hello, hello. Oh, dang it. It just figures when people are coming in. Oh, my freaking foot. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Um, so if anybody has any ideas for how I can do this better, I tried just doing it with like the duct tape version of washi tape. Oh, what am I trying to do to, to the Z palette? I'm, um, I am just trying to make it look nice because this, um, the see-through window on this one got ruined. So I'm, I'm just trying to give it like a nice surface on the top. Like you see how we can see the tapes running together, you know, where they connect. I'm, I'm not happy with that. It shows more than I thought it was going to. So I really want to, uh, I really want to find a way to make that look nice in a way that I'll use it. Otherwise, I'm going to wind up throwing it out, and I'd rather not, because, you know, these... It, my big... My big dilemma, or the big tug... Anya, hello! My big tug is trying to get rid of shabby things, not hang on to things too long, but also be frugal about it. So right now I've got this Z palette that um, has seen better days, but I'm trying to um, still make it work 
and look and still look nice. Now, this is what it was, this is what it is now, but I want to do better on this. Otherwise, I'm going to, I'll probably wind up getting frustrated and just not using it as I've been not using it. But I'm going to throw out that plastic purse. I'm not going to save it for any purpose because it is shabby and it needs to go. I'm, I'm really trying to work on as I'm able to replace things to, to do it because my things wind up staying too shabby too long, but I also want to repair things as much as possible. Like this t-shirt. I like it. It fits really well. I got it, you know, it's a CJ Banks shirt that I got at second hand, but it's very faded and a bit unevenly so. And I'm debating trying to dye it to, to refresh the black. I haven't done it before, but I'm willing to try because uh, because other than the fading, I really like the shirt. So I think I'm going to try to do that. Um, but as I'm going through my things, if I really think I'm not going to like it anymore or it's just too shabby, I'm just... I'm um, you know, I, I've, I've spent significant portions of my life with not much money, and so I, I really hesitate to get rid of things that are other, that, okay. <laughs> that is annoying. That is the fifth time that YouTube has just quit on me, and I've had to restart it. So I think with that, I think I'm going to get off for the evening as much as I hate to, especially since you guys are networking and I enjoy that, but it, YouTube keeps quitting today. So I'm thinking it's telling me that I need to go lie down, but I'm, I'm planning on coming on again live tomorrow at 9 PM Eastern standard time. So I really hope to see you all there then and there. And hopefully YouTube will stop acting up because this is driving me crazy and I'm, I just can't take it today. So <laughs> thank you so much for coming. Thank you, Scorpion. It's so nice to see you. I don't know what YouTube is doing to me, but um, do make sure you catch each other. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'm going to have to get in. Okay, that's n that is now number six that it has done this. So good night. Hopefully I will see you all tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. And uh, thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel.